This is a context in which President Tony Tan set out five key aims for this term of government. Renewing our economy, fostering a more caring society, transforming our urban landscape, keeping Singapore safe and secure, engaging and partnering with Singaporeans in nation building. To achieve these goals, we must grow our economy and invest collectively for the long term in our people, our home, our security. To grow our economy, we'll invest in building stronger enterprises and nurturing innovative industries. For our people, we'll invest in education and healthcare. Our spending on education in FY16 is expected to be $12.8 billion, almost double what it was 10 years ago. We must continue investing in our people through education and skills future. Compared to a decade ago, our healthcare spending has increased almost sixfold to $11 billion. This will rise further. Now, one in eight Singaporeans is aged 65 and above. This will rise to one in six by 2020 and one in four by 2030. For our home, we must invest for better livability and connectivity. This year, our transport spending is expected to hit $10.1 billion, more than five times what we spent a decade ago. At the same time, we're embarking on new infrastructure of unprecedented scale, such as Changi Airport Terminal 5. For our security, we also have to invest more in intelligence, operational capabilities, technology and systems to keep our homes safe and secure. All this translates into higher spending needs. Our expenditures have grown to almost two and a half times of what they were 10 years ago. We were able to fund these increased investments because we had planned ahead and remained prudent. Growth has also been fairly strong as our GDP almost doubled over the last decade. In this term, we are starting from a position of strength. We have anticipated our needs and made provisions in the last term. <clears throat> we have no natural resources, no oil wells, but we benefit significantly from the returns of the reserves accumulated by our forefathers through hard work and thrift. We must continue to strike a careful balance between what we spend today and what we would what we save for future generations. In the longer term, to meet Singapore's many needs, especially in healthcare, our expenditures will grow. But GDP growth will slow as our economy and workforce mature. We will find ourselves in a tighter fiscal position. We must plan ahead. We must grow our capabilities in order to grow our economy and create good jobs for our people. We must remain prudent in our expenditures and ensure every additional dollar spent is spent responsibly. We must encourage every Singaporean to contribute towards caring for our fellow citizens and building for the future. <clears throat> 